I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own time Please like and share our videos So 13 years ago I had this wallet made at African Leather Creations where, where is African Leather Creations um, They made it from a copy that I gave them of a cheap plastic one um, It's I've taken a bit of wear and I have brought it back and they have adjusted it up a bit So hopefully I will have a, a wallet for another 13 years Thank you, African Leather Creations, Swakop. Love the good service. Cheers. So we at the very smelly Cape Cross, um, where there is a cross. Yeah, I can. I can go. So we're doing a quick update. Uh, left Walfus Bay today yeah. after a week of recovering for myself and Ufudu. As you can see, Ufudu has a brand new bumper. It's um, been fitted with some engine mounting, so it's got a lot of flex. And we added a vent. Be there. careful, don't there. put your thumb, yeah. don't try and close it halfway and then leave your thumb there. It's, it's got a very tight grip. Yeah, the purpose of the vent is to create some positive pressure inside the back of Fudu and keep the dust out. Something we actually should have done before when my friend Dupu recommended it. So firstly thank you to our friend Bennett for um, letting us overstay our welcome. Thank and, you, you're welcome. Um, and um, allowing us to stay for 10 days, um, in invading a personal space. She was extremely helpful. Um, and um, helped, helped us sort out the car, and get the all the work done, sort out my food, food. And the wheelchair. R um, replaced um, the aircon condenser unit which got a chip in and um, did some repairs on my calipers and on my wheelchair to uh, prevent further damage. Yeah. So what happened at Cape Cross? I don't know. It did. Um Um, the, the King Johannes II, John, John, John jo the second jo from Johannes. Portugal. From Portugal had the, the, the wisdom, the wisdom the, and foresight. foresight to send a conqueror to this country and conquer yeah. for Portugal. And us is the seal. It's the seal, the seal colony of Cape Cross. Um, in, very um, interesting animals. <laughs> a very lazy and smelly, but some of them. Like that one just lying on its back and then some of them also have the ability to fold over the rocks and I, I assume it's walk the rocks Yeah, I presume they, they, they want to walk up Yeah <laughs> 130 Namibian dollars well spent <laughs> For the seals So after Cape Cross we headed inland into Damara land where we spent blissful days camping in riverbeds. We were astounded by the old men of the desert, the Velvicia. These big, extremely old plants looks a little bit like aliens. such a privilege being able to camp on our own with no one around in the dead quiet of the desert. We slowly drove further north camping in the Ohoab riverbed next. Friends of ours Stephen and Toya told us about some very nice camping spots. Thanks for the tips guys. We even had the privilege of camping next to a rock overhang with Bushman paintings. Unfortunately some also made a hashtag sign on the rocks. Why anybody would do that just blows my mind.
then we headed even further north to the Ongongo Hot Springs, probably one of the best laid out and well run campsites, where we spent two blissful days in the cool water. We were again privileged to be able to watch two terrapins feeding around the bottom of the pool. Next up on our journey was the town of Upuri, where it was quite strange to watch people in traditional dress in a modern town. So we are now at the Putavanga Secondary School hand out the last set of sets of our sanitary pads um, I hope it will make a difference in the girls lives um, yeah so let's see let's. in school back in school <laughs> um, my name is Karin this is Louis one of the things that we wanted to do was actually to give to other people who actually need something in Africa a lot of girls skip school because they do not have sanitary pads when they have their periods it's like a normal bag but you can wash it Oh, okay. so it's a and you never have to miss school. And then we hit the most northern point of our journey in Namibia, Ipupa Falls, where we spent another two days chilling next to the river under the palm trees. slowly came to a close and we got ready to head to Angola. Okay so by now we're getting used to seeing um, interesting animals in our campsite but this is a first for us. Um, if you notice the monitor lizard in the in background that just come to visit. It's a big one. I guesstimate um, Probably a meter long. Yeah, a meter with tail. Are you proud? Yeah. So um, we are wrapping up. We are wrapping up our visit to Namibia mm -hmm. um, at the Kunene Lodge. We've got a few more days of practical stuff, and then we are heading to Angola. Uh, Karin, what's your standout moments except today? In the movie. Yeah. Um Itosha. Um Itosha Spiscopa um the Vichias. Okay, yeah. too many to mention. Yeah. So this wraps up um I think episode six mm -hmm. of the African Safari and we will see you guys on the road. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and share and put your comments below. Next time on Fillers on Four Wheels, we head further north into Angola. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. If you would like to support us on Patreon, go to www.patreon.com forward slash Fillers on Four Wheels. Click the Become a Patreon button on the top right, then select your pledge amount, or you can enter your own amount. After that, all you have to do is select a payment method, which could be PayPal or credit card. It's easy as that. All pledges are appreciated. Thank you for your support.